Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy. So today we're going to be doing the general poll for the wonderful sign of cancer, okay? Before I jump into your reading, just a few announcements. I do want to remind you guys that I go live on Fridays at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so you guys can come on in and join us in the chat. I answer questions as well as my podcast is now up and running and ready for you guys to stream so you can find all of that information in the description box below. Uh, birthday specials will be ending this Friday on the 22nd so if you're interested in a love or per, uh, a love or career reading um, you can take advantage of the birthday special. Those readings will be $50 okay. Next, I am creating a group Facebook platform for us to deal with relationships and all of the heartache and all of the the, um, the insecurities, but as well as all of the growth and the love and the things that we've learned. We're going to talk about sex. We're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about healthy relationships. All of that would be on that platform that I'm creating. So as soon, my love, as I have access um, to that platform, you guys will get all of that information once I'm finished creating that platform. And I do want to remind you guys about my hot holiday shea um butter body balm if you're interested in the gift basket that i'm putting together please email me so you can pre-order and i will get you all of that information right over to you okay so we're going to do the wonderful sign of cancer today we're doing your sun your moon your rising and your venus we're doing the three card poll okay your past your present and your future in which you may need to know within this energy we're going to allow the cards to take us where they need to okay all right, thanking our angels, thanking our guys, thanking our ancestors, thanking our higher selves, thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy. We are thanking all of the energy in the atmosphere that is here to help God protect, encourage, motivate, and give us the strength and the courage to take action in this time. Okay. All right, first card placement. It says that you need to say what you mean. Okay, cancers. Second card placement, you have procrastination. Third card placement, you got pride popping up, honey. I can't remember who else got pride today. Um, I think it was probably one of the earth signs that got pride. Okay, but we're going to clarify all of this. <clears throat> clarify what you want Kansas to know about saying what they mean, procrastination, and pride. What do you want them to know about saying what they mean, procrastination, and pride? What you got from a wonderful Kansas and what you want them to know. What you want my wonderful Kansas to know. Okay, when it comes to saying what you mean, they want you to know that it may be a time to take action. Okay, we're going to clarify all of this energy. When it comes to procrastinating, they want you to be able to show the world the real you. Okay? And when it comes to pride, they want you to know a new start is coming. Okay? So let's get into this energy and see what is unfolding. Okay, so your overall message when it comes to saying what you mean, you're going to have to take action. Procrastination, you need to show the world the real you. And when it comes to your pride, there's a new start coming. So let's see where you fit in all of, oh, all of this. Give me one second. All my cards just fell out on the floor. Okay. You're going to start clarifying what you want my wonderful cancers to know about their energy. And then we're going to jump into the energy that you are interacting with. All right, what you want cancers to know about their energy, about saying what they mean, procrastination, and pride. Make it clear what you want cancers to know about their energy, about saying what they mean, procrastination, and pride. What you want cancers to know. Let's cut this deck of cards. Let's shuffle. What you want cancers to know. Make it plain, make it clear. What you want cancers to know. Okay, you got the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the King of Swords when it comes to saying what you mean. The Ace of Wands in reverse clarified by the Sun card when it comes to procrastination. Temperance in reverse clarified by the Three of Swords when it comes to your pride. Okay, so let's get into this. So first of all, we know that the Ace of Pentacles um, clarified... By the King of Swords energy. Pentacles energy is all about manifestation, financial opportunity. Okay, so this is your, like your finances, your home, or anything that's third dimensional, materialistic. Okay, so um, it's clarified by the uh, 
the King of Swords. Um, with the King of Swords energy, this is all about clearly thinking what you want. This is all about speaking the truth, okay? So for some of you, you may not necessarily be speaking the truth when it comes to um, what you want, maybe financially or what you want as far as prosperity um, is, okay? And we're going to clarify that some more, okay? As far as when your procrastination is concerned, you are more than likely procrastinated because you don't feel motivated, um, you feel a little down. Um, the sun is supposed to be all about your success. The sun is supposed to be all about fun and warm and vitality. But right now, you don't feel like that. You feel delayed. You feel lack of motivated, and that's why you're procrastinating, okay? When it comes to the prideful energy, what it's saying here is that shit may have been out of balance because of this heartbreak or this painful shit that you're coming out of. And this is, could be what's causing you to be a little bit more prideful, okay? So not only are you not saying what you mean financially, you're procrastinating because you feel like shit is just not moving and you're feeling a little bit um out of balance because whatever this heartbreak or painful situation is so maybe even rejection and hence where your pride comes in so clarify what else you want my wonderful wonderful cancers to know about taking off the ma uh, saying what they mean procrastination and pride what else you want them to know so with this five because you do have five of um Source energy followed by nine of source energy. They're both in reverse, followed by seven of wands energy in reverse, followed by eight of pentacles energy upright, followed by the world card in reverse, followed by the two of wands upright. So let's take a look at this once again. For saying what you mean, some of you feel like you may be open to change, but some of you could be clouded with that um, that past resentment, right? So now because you have this five of um, swords in reverse, you could be open. But I, you see, it's clarified by this nine of swords, though. That nine of swords could be like you're tormenting yourself over something. Maybe you felt like you didn't speak up for yourself enough. Maybe you feel like you... Um, Maybe you kind of feel like you let this person get away with something when you should have spoken up, okay? There's definitely some type of helpless feeling or maybe feeling tormented. And can I tell you something? You don't have to feel helpless for somebody else's behavior. That's going to drive you fucking insane. That's going to drive you insane. You do have the Seven of Wands energy clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, right? So the Seven of Wands energy in reverse is you could be giving up because this Eight of Pentacles energy is all about you feeling like right now it's all about putting in the work in this apprenticeship for some of okay so if we're, we're thinking about progress here right this card will represent there should be some type of progress especially if we're in a relationship because right about now this eight of pentacles energy is going to be represents um engagement we've been through enough we've been going through this enough so yeah it's time to step the game up either i'm going to do the extra work that's required to learn the things that i need to learn um or yeah um or we've been in this relationship long enough right but because it's clarified by this um seven of wands energy right and especially when it comes to procrastination you're not moving um procrastination wise because you feel unmotivated and you feel unmotivated because you don't feel like um you don't necessarily feel like the work was putting in here you don't feel like work was done you feel like you should be a little further along than you are right But you may be feeling like you quite, but you're not quite there yet. You still could be in some of your pride because you kind of feel like whatever was going on for the future or future planning, there's a lack of, com there's a lack of com completion there. Whatever, we, whatever was being planned for the future, there was a lack of completion there. All right, we're going to get into this some more. What was their lack of completion? Make this clear. Make it clear. And then we're going to jump into the energy that you're interacting with. Make this clear. Judgment. Okay. When it comes to you saying what you mean, somebody's not re-evaluating themselves. They're refusing to do the self-examination. Oh, shit. And this is when it comes to the relationship and love. Is this you, Cancer? Are you the one refusing to re-evaluate yourself? Because this is popping up on the saying what you mean. Popping up on the um, don't allow procrastination. You got the strength card and you got the um, the hermit card. Some of you may have to go into meditation to gain the strength that you need so you can step out of that um, that procrastination box, right? Because a lot of it is like you're you're just in depressed because 
you're in depressed mode because you kind of feel like this situation should have been a lot further along than it um than it should than it is right and this situation that's causing you pride it's definitely saying some type of heartbreak and whatever this is you don't feel like there's completion there you feel like it's not lack of completion because there was really no future planning there was no progress so you definitely feel like there was lack of uh, you got the queen and you got the king of pentacles one in reverse one um upright this is landing in your pride position right in your prior position you have the the, the queen and um the king of pentacles with the with the queen of pentacles being in reverse there's definitely some type of um imbalance going on this could be in your workplace this could be at home this could be in whatever commitments you've said yes to um but really don't want to hence going right back to saying what you mean because a lot of you are agreeing to do shit that you really don't want to do or saying or doing things that you don't mean right and this is clarified this is fucking with you um on a stability level because at this point even though you know that shit is out of balance and it's clarified by the King of Pentacles. It's asking you not to be prideful when shit is out of balance. There's still security and um, discipline. There's still discipline needed. There's, there's discipline needed. There's definitely some discipline needed. Well, we clearly know why you feel the way you do. All right. What else you want us to know? Yeah, you may be very opinionated. You may be very opinionated right about now, but you need to be clear about what you're saying. Opinionated energy is popping up on the saying what you mean, but you could be sarcastic and still not speaking your truth. So you need to speak your truth, okay? When it comes to procrastination, you got very talkative energy, so you could be doing a whole bunch of talking cancers and not enough movement, okay? Yep, and when it comes to the prideful energy, it's, it's clarified here by the, the, the Queen of Wands energy. And she's very determined. Queen of Wands knows what she wants. She's been through some shit. She knows what she wants, and she's been through some shit. Okay, so let's take a look at the energy that you've been interacting with that's causing you to really um, maybe have to step out of your pride a little bit. Okay. Clarify for my wonderful cancers the energies that they're interacting with. What do you want cancers to know about the energies that they're interacting with? Okay. What do you want cancers to know about the energy that they're interacting with? Two cancers to know. Two of swords in reverse, which is all about decisions. Okay, so you were dealing with somebody that was very indecisive about if they wanted this marriage or if they wanted this relationship, if they wanted a happy home, a happy life with you. So it could have been that they were not saying what they mean or you were not asking for what you really wanted. Okay, when it comes to the procrastination placement, their energy here is the strength card in reverse clarified by the seven of cups in reverse. So this person could have probably... Um, this person could have probably lacked self-discipline and there was probably a whole bunch of other options, you know? Um... They could have had some temptation. They could have had some other options. Hence why they wasn't fully ready to give you a commitment over here. Why they were indecisive over here with this energy. Okay. And the options does not necessarily have to do with another person. You see, because if you're looking at this card, the options are vast. The options could be another person. Oh, ouch. The option could be another person, but the option could also be... Um, spirituality the option could also be money you know the option could be religion right the option could be this prize on the here that's not revealed yet so this person lacked the discipline because they had a whole lot a lot of options when it comes to the pride energy you do have their energy is the wands the ace of wands in reverse the ace of wands just so y'all know is about pure um power and potential that's intuitive energy right and it's also clarified by this um wheel of fortune in reverse which means that there could have been some external forces going on here or some negative energy or maybe even some negative um this person could have had like a negative person in their life that they bounce things off of 
okay um, maybe didn't have an outlet so they just choose to retreat um let's see what else you want them to know all right when saying what you mean they got the eight of swords in reverse did you get the eight of swords You did not get the Eight of Swords. But they got the Eight of Swords in reverse, clarifying their energy with the Emperor. This could be someone that's, um, this could be someone that's open to, um, new perspectives and ready to release. Um, but even with that, that energy could be very dominating or controlling. It's like they want you to, they want to do what they want to do necessarily, but they don't want you to, to do what you want to do. There still wants to be some restrictions there. This person, and when it comes to procrastination, this person is definitely in their head with this four of um, cups in reverse. Thinking about maybe some lost opportunities. And the justice card is all about things coming back into fairness. So maybe even the truth coming out. So this person could be... I don't know why the word afraid is coming up. This person could be afraid of the truth coming out. When it comes to do with pride, they're definitely in meditation. So they're in meditation contemplating something. Yeah. They're in meditation contemplating. This could have been a one-sided, selfish relationship. That could be what they're coming to see. Yeah, their pride could have gotten the best of them. Because under pride, they're here with this meditation. They're, they're meditating. They're meditating, but they're meditating on this Four of Pentacles energy in reverse, which is selfish energy. Okay. We're back over here to saying what you mean. You got the higher fank clarified by the Three of um, Pentacles in reverse. This person belief system when it came to work, at, um, working on shit together. It could have been a little bit manipulated because it's clarified by the magician card and the moon card. So we have a lot of illusions, maybe even emotional manipulation going on here. Okay, um, very naive energy with this person. And it could also be, like I said, manipulative energy because this is once again where the procrastination is coming from. This person could have been emotionally manipulating you. Okay, when it comes to the prideful energy. Yep. You got the two of wands in reverse clarified by the, um, the sun card. So there definitely was no future planning. And this is why up here you felt in your pride area, you felt like, there was no completion, no conclu no closure because there was no future plans, you know. Or maybe you had future plans and you feel like they're not the plans that you guys talked about. There's no closure. The relationship could have ended suddenly. Or this person could have ghosted you. This person could have ghosted you. This person could have definitely ghosted you. Hence why you probably feel like you need to, to wait. Right? Hmm. This person is definitely... Um, this person is definitely... Maybe in a depressive state. They're definitely... There's no planning for the future going on. Clarify. What else do you want my wonderful cancers to know about this person's pride? Queen of Swords energy, they could be overly emotional and maybe even a little cold right now, cold hearted right now. Page of Cups energy is all about paying attention to the synchronicities. You guys, sometimes you be having more than enough information and you just don't be doing what's necessary to line things up sometimes because we don't want to deal with stuff, right? Bottom of the deck for them, they got the Six of Swords in reverse. Holding on the baggage, not being able to move on. They also have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, which is all about, like, once again, one-sided greedy shit. One-sided greedy shit. Right? Bottom of the deck for you, you have the Four of Wands upright, which is all about community, uh, maybe even marriage. This would be about building together and expanding towards a future together, right? Um, celebration, right? And this is clarified by the Page of Cups. So, yeah. You're over here still in a place where 
you want the happy home and you want the happy life and you're going to be paying attention to the synchronicities that that as that lines up um this person over here they're paying attention to the synchronicities also because their page of cups is clarified by the six of um pentacles in reverse which means that this shit is still selfish energy and this person could also be in debt okay so this person could also have more financial debt than they let you on. And this person could be burdened financially and they just not cluing you in on what's going on. They could have promised you this beautiful wedding ring and shit, but they just may not have the money to do so. They're definitely in some financial debt right now. Okay. Okay, so let's get into what you're going to need for healing my wonderful, wonderful um, cancers. What else is going on with this person that you want cancers to know about? The king of wands in reverse. This person could be very full of expectations like my way or the other way. Or like, you know, the kind of people that feel like they shit don't stink, but they can tell you how, how stink your shit is. Like, they don't feel like they do anything fucking wrong. Right? Yeah. So they have very high expectations for how this relationship and this celebration should, um, this union or sort should come together. But they're not doing their own work. They want you to do all the work and then they don't want to be accountable for anything. See? Because right here, the five of wands clarified by the ace of swords in reverse. This five of wands is regarding, is, um, uh, fuck, is, um... Avoiding, um, avoiding conflict, avoid, avoiding having that conversation. So they don't want to have that conversation. They don't want to get into the mental and the spiritual aspect of why things are going on and happening the way they do. They got the hangman in reverse, clarified by the knights of swords in reverse. Like I said, their thoughts are very scattered right now. They need to let go and make some decisions right now, but their thoughts are scattered. Um... And they may not even have a disregard for the consequences or maybe not, you know, like, you know how somebody feel like you're always going to be there. Like some of us have relationships with people that they feel like because you've forgiven them once, you've forgiven them twice, maybe even three or four times. They still kind of feel like you're always going to be there. That's the kind of energy I'm getting from this person. This person feels like you're always going to be there. Okay. All right. So let's clarify what my wonderful cancers would need for their healing. What does cancers need for their healing? Please make it clear. What does cancers need to do for their healing? What does cancers need to do for their own internal healing? What does cancers need to do for their own internal healing? What does cancers need to do for their own internal healing? Make it clear, make it clear, make it clear. You got pleasure. You got beginnings. You got the masculine energy. You got creation, one more card. We have acceptance. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay. What are you finding the what are you finding pleasure in? Are you finding pleasure in making someone else happy? Or are you finding pleasure in not speaking your truth? They're asking you to speak your truth so you can step over into a place of pleasure. Now, once you start to speak your truth, know that there's beginnings coming because we did talk about this. We talked about you. We talked about you being able to get your Ace of Wands back, right? Because right now it's in reverse. And this is all about your potential. This is all about opportunity. And you want your vitality back, right? So new begins can happen, but you're going to have to start speaking what you mean. You're all going to have to show the world the real you and stop procrastinating, okay? And you're going to have to be mindful of your pride because a new start is coming. So we do know that pleasures is yours to have. There's beginnings here, Okay, this masculine energy just means some of you may have to operate with a little bit more firmness and not so much in your emotions as you would, you know, moving through this energy. Know that every step you take, you are a co-creator with your experience. There's no experience that you're having that you're not helping to create. So be mindful of that. This is why it's important, once again, for you to say what you mean. Don't procrastinate. If you say you're going to do something, get your ass up and do it. Okay, and just be mindful not to operate with pride as you're doing so, okay? And then last but not least, you need to understand and accept what you can change and what you can't change you just release let me tell y'all something 
You can't track dick. You can't track pussy. You can't make people do what you want them to do. And even if you get somebody to do 24, 24 was just on the timing in case any of you see number sequence. Even if you do get somebody to do what you want them to do and it's not genuinely something they want to do, it's going to be short-lived. They'll do it for a little while, but then they're going to revert right back to the same old person or the old ways because if it's not genuine as something they wanted to do, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be, it's going to be short-lived. Okay. So with that being said, step out, speak up, say what you mean. Okay. Don't procrastinate. And, and don't, when you're saying what you mean, don't do it with pride. Okay. Don't do it with pride. All right. Okay. My wonderful, wonderful cancers. I hope this was helpful. Keep in mind once again, guys, that I do go live on Fridays, um, 8 30 PM Eastern standard time. And I do answer questions. So we have a lot of fun. You guys can come on in and join us in the chat. Um, these daily vibrations go up every day at 12, 15 AM Eastern standard time. Uh, you guys can actually start streaming my podcast. They're on several different platforms. You can find all of those links in the description box below. The Facebook platform is coming. Um, the personal re um, the personal love and career readings, the special, the birthday special is um, over tomorrow. So if you guys want to get something on the calendar for your coaching session slash intuitive reading with me, please email me and we can get you um, all situated with that. Um, Shea Body Butter. Um, if you were interested in that for the holidays package, gift package, please email me. Uh, my girl Kim Warner's information because she does natal charts. That's in the description box below. Um, my girl Michelle, she also does sun catchers and her information is in the description box below also. Um, all right, cancers. Check out the daily vibration tomorrow. That helps you as well as you guys can circle back next week for your next string of readings. Um, and you guys can also check out the podcast where we take a lot of this stuff that we get into here in these tarot cards and they get broken down on the podcast as far as why people do the things that they do and operate in the fuckery that they operate with and how you are to move accordingly. Okay? All right, my loves. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Y'all know the deal. Do something kind for yourself. Be honest with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Honor yourself. Love yourself. Drink plenty of water. And I will see you guys back here in your next individuals. If you have not checked out your sun, your moon, um, sun, moon. If you have not checked out your, um, your, your moon sign, your Venus, and your rising, please do so. Especially your moon sign. Your moon sign can show you a little bit about how you act emotionally. Because that's what governs your emotions. Okay? All right, my loves. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in your next video. Bye, my loves.